Hi there, welcome to my views and news, two news stories. First one is from the Amhara region where uh, some talks are underway about the region, talks underway in Addis Ababa uh, to resolve the ongoing conflict in the Amhara region. A minister spoke yesterday offering talks to uh, groups which have valid questions. Is it an offer of talks from government to FANO groups? Secondly, Eritrean Information Minister last night criticized the TPLF for a new position taken by the TPLF about Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission decision, which was announced uh, more than two decades ago. Firstly, viewers, uh, an Ethiopian minister yesterday offered talks to Ethiopian groups. Khairuddin is Ethiopian state minister for peace. He replaced Tayadandia. Tayadandia was put in prison uh, a few months ago by Ethiopian prime minister. Uh, then we had criticized Ethiopian PM, accusing him of atrocities, killings, waging wars, devastating the country. And then security forces arrested Then the accusing him of planning to overthrow the constitutional order and colluding with the Romo Liberation Army. Karuddin replaced Tatayadani. Karuddin was heard talking about uh, negotiations with groups in Ethiopia yesterday. What did he say? He said, government, Ethiopian government, federal government is ready to talk to any group which has genuine questions, which has questions, demands. This talk by the minister is being seen as if government is uh, offering talks to the FANO groups. And, and we're seeing a parallel development in Addis Ababa. In Addis Ababa, a consultation forum is uh, ongoing, organized by the USAID and an Ethiopian institute called Institute for Peace, jointly organized by Ethiopian and American organizations, stocks underway in Addis Ababa. Obviously, FANO commanders or groups are not uh, attending this uh, consultation forum. Uh, USAID, Institute of Peace, uh, and some Ethiopian intellectuals are involved in discussions. Now, how to uh, understand the statement by Ethiopian Minister of Peace. Is the government really sincere? Does it want to talk to FANO groups? I believe government has not made any offers to FANO fighters to talk so hard. Just a statement that government is ready to talk to people, groups which have questions uh, is not sufficient. If government is willing to talk to FANO groups, it can form a committee. Like it formed a committee when uh, government talked to OLA, government talked to EPLF, a committee was formed. Uh, members of committee, their names are announced by the government. This time, only a statement. So far, no committee formed. Pano groups in the past rejected the possibility of talks with the government. They have been saying that uh, no talks with this government. Talks can be held after the removal of this government. So definitely, both sides have taken some strong positions. Uh, federal government of PM Abi wants to crush Pano groups, weaken Pano groups. And after that, talks could be considered. That is why. Uh, ground operation underway and military claiming uh, gains will have to wait. 
but this is the strategy of the government. The government wants to weaken Fano groups through military operation and then maybe at a later stage when Fano groups are weak and uh, uh, they don't have a leverage at the table, talks could start. Will the strategy work? So far it's not working because uh, despite several rounds of military operation in the region for almost a year, Fano groups could not be weakened. Rather, Fano groups are getting bigger and stronger with every passing day. Yes, they're suffering losses, but uh, still no change in public support for them. Diaspora raising funds for them. Uh, they're easily finding recruits too. Uh, yes, they lose territories, they regain territories. This uh, game ongoing since last year. But I don't see Minister of Peace's statement as a serious, genuine attempt by the government to talk to foreign fighters. It was just a general statement with really no uh, homework done by the minister to talk to FANO groups. Secondly, viewers, I did a video yesterday. I shared with you a statement of a uh, joint statement of 10, 10 Tegarean organizations. The 10 Tegarean organizations led by one from Iro uh, issued a statement saying that uh, uh, the Algiers agreement, the Ethiopia a Boundary Commission award, should be renegotiated, especially the Boundary Commission verdict should uh, not be implemented. Rather, a new agreement should be negotiated by the parties. Parties, Tegarai, Eritrea, Ethiopian federal government. And uh, the organizations uh, said that uh, the decision when it was uh, made in 2002 did not take into account on the ground situation locals were not contacted this decision cannot be enforced now and the organizations accused Eritrea that Eritrea is in occupation of Tigray's territories that is why the open federal government international community should intervene the military must withdraw and uh, new talks should be held for a, a new agreement and then border should be demarcated. Eritrea uh, has been issuing statements, uh, especially in the last uh, two months, we have seen statements from Eritrean embassies, uh, Eritrean Information Ministry saying that uh, the decision of the Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission has been implemented by Eritrea. And Eritrean military is not deployed to Ethiopian sovereign territory. So Eritrea denied its military presence in Tigray. Then came the statement from Yemeni Gebremaskel, information minister of Eritrea, last night. He uh, criticized the TPLF and he implied that TPLF is alone. That no one is supporting the new position taken by TPLF. He said that uh, now TPLF is openly rejecting Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission verdict issued in 2002. But, but three players just a few weeks ago showed their support for Algiers agreement for Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission verdict. The three players are Brussels, London, Washington, EU, US uh, and UK. They issued statements in December last year and they backed the Boundary Commission Algiers agreement and the Boundary Commission award uh, which was announced uh, more than two decades ago. That is what I concluded, by the way, in last night's live chat. I said 
and, and, and in a video yesterday, I told you that it would be difficult for Tegarai to find allies regarding its new position about border with Iraq. That is why when the two sides, uh, federal government and DPLF held talks in Addis Ababa this week, mediated by Africa Union, EU, US, no one said a word about alleged military presence in Tigray. Even US remained silent because US, EU, Africa Union, they know that Tigray is taking a new position. It wants uh, fresh negotiations to demarcate the border. It is tantamount to opening a Pandora's box. So this new position of Tigray is not being endorsed by any international regional player. And that is what Eretia said yesterday when it said that uh, the three players issued statements in December last year showing their support for the Boundary Commission verdict. Let's see uh, how TPLF handles the situation, how federal government uh, handles the situation. Will federal government stand with TPLF? Will it stand with uh, Eretia? Will it stay neutral? That remains to be seen. Thank you for watching.